Take a look, if you will, at Marco Savolainen. He was a very impressive bodybuilder. He's actually from Finland. He competed mainly in 1997. Let's face it, I'll be honest, guys. He competed once in 1997, and that is the version here that you see, and he nailed his condition. And then he competed after that, and he was... I don't want to say he was terrible. I mean, he was big. But any other version that you see of Marco Savolainen, Savolainen, I apologize, but yeah, he did compete more than once, realistically. But in my opinion, this guy was incredible just that one time. And that's the version we're going to take a look at today in this comparison between Nick Walker. So it's the 1997 Finnish Finland Grand Prix, Grand Prix Finland. Of Marco Savalain and there will be a couple of poses that we couldn't get from that version so you'll you'll see the softer side of Marco but Nick Walker he is versus Nick Walker here the New York Pro I am obligated by verbal contract to do this comparison because you guys it's part of your you pick wah, 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 Tuesday lineup and as I am uh, looking at this one I can see that Nick Walker he's too much for Marco no, yeah, and the biceps, I'll give it to even Marco, if you're going to see them as actual biceps, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, Nick Walker's biceps are no slouches either. But you look at the rest of the physique, I'd say uh, Nick Walker, he's just going to be too much. Now, you go through the shots, and you realize that, yeah, it was a front double bicep pose. You can't judge the entire competition on that. Marco Savolain and... He was good. He was all around, too. He was more than just a big beast man with a ponytail, or a... He was bald-headed with a ponytail, which is kind of weird. Like a Mongolian? Yeah? Is that, is that not, not right to say? Hmm? Hmm. He's, fi he's Finnish. He's Finland. Anyway, this Finnish man gets the victory in the front lat spread, I would say. Maybe ties things up. Turn to the side. And those arms of Marco Savolainen... I'm sure Nick Walker, he does not like these type of comparisons. Why would you compare me with a guy from the 90s, he probably thinks. Because you're awesome, Nick Walker. You're friggin' cool. You got a cool physique, and we'd like to compare you with other cool physiques like Marco's. I mean, those arms, wow. Those bicep peaks, double wow. Wow. He's, he's a friggin' beast. Nice big jaw. Look at the big chin on Marco. That's good for eating a lot of food. Thusly. You ever notice that? Bodybuilders, all, they all got great big chins for eating. Like dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Side tricep. And to be honest with you, Dan, I was surprised that I would give it to Marco Savoyan. And, and both of the side shots. Am I giving Nick Walker both of the front ones? No, I'm not. So in actuality, if we're using just this 1997, and that is a, such a good version of this guy. What a freak of nature. He got into some diuretics. Diuretics. So yeah, using that version. And I hate to say it, because Nick's so good. I think Marco's winning. Heading into the back shots. Now here is where Nick Walker usually skyrockets ahead. But this Marco, he's he's a world-class bodybuilder, guys. And he only nailed it once, unfortunately. I think Ronnie Coleman defeated him here. Uh, Kevin Lavroni was at his best here. Oh my goodness. Uh, Nasser, I think, was there too. But a lot of people say Marco Savalianen should have won that event. He was in tip-top condition, guys. And back for back, I know I made Nick a lot shorter sizing you guys get mad at me sometimes but marks max muscle hi my name is bob if anybody can tell me what that's off of i'll give you 10 free comparisons hi my name is bob anybody anyway yeah condition guys here's a close-up shot and you take you, you write the silhouette right out of this one obviously you've seen from the last shot marco was good marco's good but the condition, he is also tip-top shape. I think he's matching Nick Walker. 
But yeah, 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 about the sizing. Nick Walker's bending at the knees. He's spreading eagle. Marco kind of, he stood straight. So to my chagrin, to my surprise, Nick's not defeating Marco in the rear double. And is Marco beating him, Nick Walker? Well, no, that's not what I'm saying either. Rear lat spread. Obviously, you can see the softer side of Marco Savolainen. Just a whisper of body fat in those glutes, you can see. I think he competed in 98, the Finnish Grand Prix again, Grand Prix Finland. And he brought this soft, massive, massive, but not competitive version. But why would he? He came in peeled, so peeled the year before, and he placed low. So why would he risk his life to, you know? And yes, these guys do risk their lives, looking like they do, looking like they do. Of course, you know, mums and dads each and every day risk their lives driving into work. Hmm? Driving? Dangerous? So quit hollering about bodybuilding being dangerous unless you're going to go out there and try to outlaw car driving then. That's targeted towards the people that are against things. If you're against something, go away somewhere. Anyway, you guys know what I'm saying. This is the abs and thigh, obviously, and the rear lat was going to Nick Walker. But could have the, the finish, Grand Prix Finland version of the rear lat spread which we didn't have maybe he could have won that one marco he's obviously losing the abs and thigh too gosh darn bad too there was some screenshots but i don't want to insult your guys's intelligence with rusty old screenshots barely be able to tell i mean it's blurry sizes are distorted baby please oh i shouldn't say baby please anymore because louis marco's back back in action Here's the most muscular, and it is a actual softer version of Marco. He wasn't hitting the most muscular too much, too much at all. In 97, I think he was more worried about his condition, his abs. Everything was just razor sharp, peeled, thin-skinned, things of that nature. Those delts are something else. Is there something else in there? Is there something else in Marco's biceps? I'm sure somebody will point the finger of blame to sights but anyway i think you take all the sights out of this i think the guy and nick walker both would have had some of the biggest bicep peaks of all time baby please oh yeah i can't say that anymore look at these two beasts holy cow wow if i've ever said wow this deserves one of those you know wow spelled upside down as Mom, race car spelt backwards is race car. So is, was it a rat I saw? But anyway, guys, these two creatures, these two beasts, absolutely one in a trillion. You don't get this big. I don't care if you're a little skinny guy like me, little tiny puny weakling. You know, there's no matter what I did, what I could take. I'd never be as big as these big beasts. Because they are who they are. They are Marco Savalianen and Nick Walker. Who wins the matchup? Well, I think Nick. Nick wins because he he had more of the shots there. He's winning the abs and thigh. He was winning the rear lat. But that's kind of a ripoff, don't you think? Isn't it a wonder, don't you think? <laughs> or ironic, ironic. Alanis Morissette. That was a good tune too, guys. It was a good tune too. Frank Sinatra, too. He was good. But anyway, guys, I don't want to ramble on about your favorite music artists. Or do I? Do I? Go ahead and let me know your favorite singing artist in the comments section below. Anyway, anyway, anyway. hit thumbs up, guys. Uh, If they were all the pictures from the Finnish Grand Prix, might give it to Marco. But we can't say that. We can't say that. But I would. I would. I'm brave enough. You guys get mad at me, you get mad at me. But if I've ever made you laugh, well, you can't get that mad at me, can you? Hit thumbs up, subscribe. Have a good one.